Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to digitally assign our around the room circuits to your students. I'm going to show you how to share um, the Google Slides format with your students and how to share the Google form with your students so that they can submit their answers to you digitally. So this file that we're looking at, this is the adaptations around the room circuit Google Slides, Google Form, Teacher Directions. This is included with the product the resource. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to figure out how to assign the Google Slides to the students. So there's a link right here, Sharing Google Slides with Students. I'm going to click here to open the Google Slides presentation. Let's click on that. Okay, that's going to bring up this document right here. It says copy document. Um, would you like to make a copy of adaptations around the room circuit? You're going to go ahead and click make a copy. That's going to add that to your Google Drive. And what's going to happen also once it pulls up this presentation is that it's going to add a copy of to the beginning of the title. We recommend taking that off just like that. And then the very next thing, next to the star, there's a folder. You can click on that and you can go ahead and move that to your specific folder in your, your Google Drive where you want to be able to locate that. So you can keep all of your files nice and organized. So take off copy of and then move that to your um, specific folder that you'd like to use. Then what we're looking at here, um, what we've done with our circuits is we've taken a screenshot of each individual slide and we place them into a Google slide format just like this so on the left hand column here you can see every single circuit card for this adaptation circuit is here and we've gone ahead and we've mixed them all up if you've used our circuits before you'll know that they need to be out of order in order for students to um, complete the activity if you have not used our circuits before we strongly recommend reading the directions that are included in the file. Um, it'll show you basically everything that you need to know about how these work. Um, it can be a little confusing at first, but once students and teachers get the hang of it, it's a, it's a pretty highly engaging activity. So we're going to go ahead and assume that you've used these before and everything's mixed up here. So basically, students will have to take these, they'll have to rearrange them and they'll have to put them in order. Once they get them in order, then they can submit their answers to you on their Google form, and hopefully everything works from there the way that it should. So starting off from there, um, what we want to do from here is you have access to this file now where you can modify anything that you want. You don't really need to, but if you wanted to switch anything around, you can. That's totally up to you. When you are ready to share this with your students, this is the absolute most important thing. Okay, If you just share this link with the students that's up here, they're going to be able to edit all of this stuff too, and we do not want that. So what you need to do is you need to highlight this back end of the link right here all the way to edit, get rid of all of that right there, and then I'm going to type copy. Okay, and that's going to force your students to make a copy of this presentation so that they're not editing the master copy. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and it's going to bring me this copy document, just kind of like what you saw at the very beginning. And what you want to do is take that link, copy that, and then assign that to your students. If you'd like to shorten that URL, because that's kind of a long URL, you can do that also um, using whatever preferred method that you like, um, bit.ly.com. Or if you have a automatic link shortener like we do right here, Amazon URL shortener, we recommend that one. That's pretty cool. I can click on here and it'll automatically shorten that link for me, which is going to force your students to make a copy. That is the absolute most important thing. Okay, so once you've forced them to make that copy, you can share that link with them and they will be able to view this presentation here that we were just looking at. 
and they'll be able to move all the slides around that they need, but they won't be messing with anybody else's copy. That's huge. Okay, so that's the first thing. That's how you would share the Google Slides with your students. The next thing that we want to take a look at is how we would share the Google Form with students because we need them to be able to submit their answers to you digitally as well. So on the second page here, we have sharing Google Forms with students. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open up again a copy of, it says, would you like to make a copy of Adaptations Around the Room Circuit Student Recording Sheet? Yes. So I'm going to click Make a Copy. And again, very similar steps to the last one. I'm going to erase copy of up here at the top. And then the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the folder and I'm going to move that to the folder of my um, choice where I can keep everything organized. Same exact step as the last, the last one that I showed you. Okay, now once we get here, we have... Um, let me show you a little bit of this. We have snipped the student recording sheet. If you've used our circuits before, we have three recording sheets. We feel that this recording sheet is going to be the one that works the best digitally. Basically, it's just it has the questions 1 through 20, and the students are just going to be putting their answers in. So this is just the sheet for them to look at. Um, and down here, we have already added in all of the questions with all of the possible answer choices. So we've already made this into a quiz with correct answers. The one thing that you can do if you want is you can go through here and you can click and make all of these required. That, that's going to force the students to answer those. Um, we leave them off and kind of leave that up to the teachers how they want to do that. But we've already put in all the correct answers. So like on this one, number one, you can see the correct answer should be E and it's scored um, as five points because I believe there's 20 questions. Yeah, there's 20 questions on this one. So each one would be five points. So you can go ahead and you can modify that if you want. You can change anything that you want there, but we've already put in the answer key and the right answers. Um, so you really don't need to do any of that other than maybe changing everything to be required. That's totally up to you though. So from here, um, what you're gonna do is when you're ready to share this with your students and everything is the way that you want it to be, you're going to click this send button. And right here, there's a link tab. I'm going to click the link tab and that's going to bring up this big long link. All right, I want to shorten that. So I'm going to click the shorten URL and there it is. There's a nice short URL that I can share with my students. I can copy that. Um, I can send that via Google Classroom. I can put it on a note card if I'm in the classroom. I can put it on the board. I can send it via email. Um, that's totally up to you. But once you send that to your students, they're going to see this when they open up that file. Okay, so they're going to type their first and last name, email address, their class period. They're going to see the answer sheet here. So that's just for reference to let them know, okay, there's 20 of them that I have to do. And they're going to use two things. So this is where it might get a little tricky for them. What they might want to do is kind of make two windows side by side. That might be the easiest way to do this. So something like this. And we're going to make a, a video for students too so that we can kind of walk them through the best way to do this. So maybe have two windows open. I probably should shrink that one down a little bit more. There we go. Side by side. Oh. Well, let me do this again. Sorry for that. I didn't make it small enough. Okay. So two windows side by side, just like this. And once students put everything in order, they'll go through here and they'll select what the right answer is. Here's how they get the answers. So on our circuits, there's an answer at the top and there's a question at the bottom. The cool thing about them is it doesn't matter what order that students go in. They can start with any one they want. They're going to get the same answers um, for everything. They just have to be paying attention to which question 
they're doing. So this one is identify the term that describes a long distance journey that many animal species take on a seasonal basis. Okay, so um, I go through that and I'm like, oh, that's migration. So I'm gonna find the slide over here. There it is, migration. I'm gonna drag that up here because it should go next. So that's telling me that number 12, the answer is migration, which is letter I. Number 12 is I. So on the Google form, I would go down to number 12 and I would select I, okay? And then students would come over here and they would say, what term describes an adaptation that allows an organism to blend in with its environment? And I'm gonna say, okay, that's camouflage. There it is. So camouflage, I'm gonna bring that up here. And that's going to tell me number 16 is P. So I go over to my Google form, number 16 is P, and so on. And the cool thing is, if the students put them all in the right order, at the very end, the very last question down here at the bottom should be, this should be the answer. Now, these weren't in order, so of course that's not the right answer. But if they put them in order, that's how it's going to work, and they'll have all of their right answers here. Okay, so that's pretty, um, it can be a little confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's kind of cool because if students go through it the right way, they should have all their answers chosen and it makes a complete circuit from start to finish. Okay, so we've gone through how to assign the Google slide. Remember the most important thing is changing the link at the end to copy. And we've gone through how to assign the Google form. And then uh, that's how students would submit their answers. At the very bottom of this Google form, students have a submit button. When they're done with the circuit, they click submit. And that's going to collect all of their responses. And you'll be able to view those. You'll be able to view those on your responses tab right here. So when you click there, it says zero. Nobody's done this yet for me. Um, you'll see your students start to pop up here and you'll have all of their scores, all of their names, everything attached to that. All right, well, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at thescienceduo at gmail.com. Um, we'd be glad to help out. Thank you so much for watching.